Hi, welcome back to Engine Shop Joe. Uh, this week, Jake gave me a call and he said he had a problem and he asked me to come down. So, uh, probably one of the things I dreaded the most when I was at Tech. Let's take a look. I'm going to drill that easy out out right there. When we drill out in a hardened, this is a solid carbide drill bit that we got. And we're just going to take our time and go slow. When we're drilling this out, I had brought down cutting tool coolant. I'm spraying on the bit. The drill's running at about probably 40 RPM. It was a old plug-in electric drill. You got to turn it slow, very slow. And we were able to start drilling through the easy out. I'll get it, go ahead. Go ahead, drill. Jake is in drill out the easy out I broke off in there 101. That thing is razor sharp. We saved them their head. You know how much that would have cost them if we didn't do that? I don't know, something else. Let's pieces in there huh hmm? is there still some in there no so the hole certainly wasn't perfect uh, you could see where it had been drilled down into the, through the bottom threads uh, on the bottom part of that hole when the easy out broke out broke off so uh, we we decided that the best thing to do was not drill the hole out huge to put a key insert in, which is a solid threaded insert, and there you got to drill a pretty big hole. So I was afraid the head would be too thin on the bottom if we did that. We put in a new exhaust bolt, exhaust spacer, and some washers on that simulated the thickness of a manifold, and that bolt hole held full torque. I looked in it, I'd say about 15% of the threads were missing on the bottom. The rest of the hole was in good shape. So we were able to save the customer about $8,000. We put that back together and it's running down the road, been running a couple weeks, no problem. The bolt's still in there. So uh, it worked out. This engine's got a lot of hours on it, almost 20,000. So this will be the last hurrah for, for that head anyway, uh, if there's another problem. Uh, the engine is going to need a lot more work anyway if that happens. So uh, I'm going to put some links. I don't normally do this down in the comments that point you to the drill drills that we got from uh, Amazon to drill that out. The solid carbide drills, they were a lifesaver. He had cobalt drills. He had Bosch cobalt drills, which are pretty decent. They wouldn't touch that easy out. So uh, we had to get solid carbide, and if you've ever worked with carbide drills, they're like glass. you got to be very careful with them because the tips will chip off so easy. 
But uh, we ended up breaking both carbide drills we bought, but not before we got through and the uh, bolt relaxed, the, the busted off piece relaxed and we were able to screw it out. Thanks for joining me in Engine Shop Joe. See you next time.